Is your debt causing you sleepless nights? Knock your debt out with Debt KO. And your debt won't be the only thing keeping you up at night. Debt KO. Free, impartial advice on all your debt. Oscar Bevis for IFL TV in association with MTK Global. I'm with Robert Smith, General Secretary from British Boxing Border Control. Robert, I just want to address last night, um, a great show in Peterborough and a show full of shocks. It was sort of a storm over Peterborough and uh, yeah, a lot of unpredictability last night, but a lot of the attention will be around um, the scorecards from the main event, so I'm going to jump straight into that. No messing about. Um, yeah, it's not a great look for British Boxing. Well, we'll obviously have a look at it. I look, obviously saw the scores last night. We'll go back and study the fight again. I mean, we are talking about the three people sitting closest to the ringside. I mean, I don't know what Sky was or television was saying, etc. But they are about 50 yards away in a box behind a screen. Everybody else is around the outside. The closest people to the ring are the, are the judges. Um, you know, they've been doing it a long time. And uh, what they see is what they see. Um, you know, I think the score, if you look at the, the main event particularly, you know, we had one judge going one way big, one judge going the other way fairly big, and one judge very, very close. So it was one of those fights where a lot was happening on the inside. Um, obviously, Vasquez was doing the boxing, moving around the ring, etc. cetera. Um, bit of all of a flat, if you can call it flash. It was a particularly average bout, really, um, and quite difficult to score. And, um, you know, Vasquez was doing the moving and boxing, and Ritson was just walking forward, um, you know, trying to get them down, uh, trying to get them close and loading up. And there was quite a lot of shots thrown on the inside, but you know, as I say, people are upset about it. Fair enough. Uh, we'll go back and do what we think is the right thing. We've heard before that judges will be held accountable by the board, and you know, I think is there, is this sort of a tipping point? Has it got to a point where fans don't really know what to expect? You know, because have they been held accountable before, and you know, do things have to change now? Well, I don't see what you mean, really. Um, to be honest with you, um, we maybe not stand up on a mountain and shout out what we do with these referees and judges, etc. But certainly, they are liable to be called up before the board and took face disciplinary action if it's deemed right. And in fact, you know, in the past, referees have had their licence withdrawn and 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 demoted into another another category. So, you know, suddenly, you know, it's now what eight o'clock in the morning on uh, on Sunday. We got back to the hotel last night at what about half past one or something. I haven't really had much time to do anything about it, to be honest, and uh, just give us a bit of time, and I'm sure we'll do do the right thing. Because yeah, I'm not sure, for well, me on a personal note, I don't really buy the fact that a bad decision will, and bad decisions in the sport will turn uh, fans and potential fans away, but more the fact that you know people have highlighted in the past, why go to Germany, why go to the States, are you going to get the nod? Will it stop fighters like Miguel Vasquez coming over here in the future if decisions like this are deemed to carry on? But you keep saying decisions like this. I mean, I've got to go back and have a look at it. I mean, I, you know, I was doing this, collating the scores. I wasn't judging, I was collating the scores. And it was a particularly tricky fight. To, you know, if you wanted to, if you, if you pre pre preferred the boxer, Vasquez was the man. If you preferred the person with all the pressure, Ritson was the man. So, you know, there's nothing controversial about it. It was one of those fights that was quite, quite difficult to, to judge, I think. Um, you know, who are the people saying, you know, social media? Well, I don't really care what social media is. I'm more interested in what the people who are there to do the job. Um, you know, TV. I obviously respect that, but they're not there to do. The, they're not there to do the actual final job. So, you know, you know, people say we're not doing anything, and you know, people won't come back. I hope they come back. We look after them very, very well. Um, you know, this is—is is this a really bad, a really bad decision because because people on social media didn't like it, or TV were against it? I don't think so. I'll I take I'll take on board the opinions of people I respect and who've got knowledge of the sport, has been in the sport a long time. I won't take any of a notice of the people who's getting it or having a few beers and after 12 o'clock starts sending you know messages that really they have no qualif uh, no qualifications to do so I'm not really bothered about that I'm bothered about the people who I know know something about the sport and I'll listen to that um, and we'll take it from there as simple as that and of course one thing it, do it does highlight it's, it's quite relenting I mean one of the judges was seen to potentially be on some form of mobile device what looked like a phone we can't tell for sure but it, it did certainly look like a mobile um yeah again that's from a look perspective, I can imagine for the ball, that's something disappointing to see as well. And yeah, I can imagine that's something that's going to, going to require immediate action. Yeah, I've, made, I've been made aware of that. You can't tell whether it's a phone or not, but I don't know what it is. And I've got to find out. And uh, obviously, yes, that is a slap on the cheek. Is your debt causing you sleepless nights? Knock your debt out with Debt KO. 
And your debt won't be the only thing keeping you up at night. Debt KO, free impartial advice on all your debt.